What's up, my KY family? It's your girl, K-Nare, and I'm back with another video. I got my little sister here with me. Jimia. She's 13, and we're going to basically do a video talking about how does it feel growing up young, basically how she feels growing up now, because she's 13, and, you know, I'm 24, but I'm basically going to talk about how I feel when I grew up, you know, was growing up her age, basically. So, yeah, let's just go, and then we're going to just do it like that. So, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so you want to start or you want me to start? Um, you can start. Okay, so <laughs> boom. <laughs> so basically, um, growing up young, let me think. So I was like, I'm like, I'm Aquarius. So I grow up, I grew up very like, I'm free spirited. So I grew up very like rebellious. Like I always just felt like I wanted to not, I wouldn't say be bad, but I just felt like I wanted to just, you know, like do what I wanted to do. Morning. I always feel like I just wanted to, you know, thumbnail. <laughs> I always felt like I just wanted to do what I wanted to do, you know, but that got me in a very lot, a lot of trouble. Like, I promise y'all, it got me in a lot of trouble. Like, I couldn't stay out of trouble to save my life. Um, I always wanted to like, you know, I, it always landed me in Florida. Like I had the best of both worlds basically. So it's like, I grew up on my mama's side and then it's like, I grew up on my daddy's side too. Like younger, it was more like being at my mama's house. I would just go to my daddy's house for the summer. But then more as I got, got older around like 15, it just got like, I just got crazy. That crazy mom, that crazy. You know, I was ready to go back every time. And I ended up running away, which y'all can go into one of my other videos and check that out basically so y'all can see what's going on y'all got my bonnet on yeah yep yeah. what y'all gonna say nothing because i'm still giving i'm still serving it's still giving yeah <laughs> anyways but yeah so it's like my problem growing up young was like i always wanted to be grown like my mind was always like ahead of the game i felt like and it's like when i was like 15 i was like i'm gonna be emancipated like i wanted to be emancipated like if anybody who don't know emancipated is basically like um let me say emancipated is basically like you can be at the age of 15 like you can go through the courts and give your reasons of why you don't want your parents to be your parents anymore like you want to be grown you want to be free you want to be uh, it's just me and the, and if the judge feel like you know you have a good enough a valid reason they'll grant you your wish which means don't go out doing that okay period don't go out doing that don't be doing that don't i ain't kids stay home with your parents you know i was just I wanted to do it all because because I got a taste of both worlds is the reason. You know what I'm saying? Because Florida was more, I saw the boys, you know, I step out the door. It's like they got a dress, you know. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, ma. Like they had a dress and everything, you know. It was they was looking good. They they low boys and everything. You know, it was giving. You know, Florida, it was just like Florida's like the fast lane, you know, palm trees. It's a party, you know. So that's where I wanted to be. So when I went back home, I would just cry my heart out. Cry because I would miss my daddy. Y'all know, like I told you in one of the previous videos, if you haven't seen it, go see it. Go watch it. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know what's up. Yeah, so like I'm a daddy's girl, so I will always cry because I'm like, I really don't want to go. And it was really like, that's what it was. Like, Georgia always gave me gloomy. And Florida gave me it's lit like it's a party all day whenever you feel like it. you step out the door it's always something to do and like my family never really like understood it that much they be like they used to think i was crazy because like why did this girl i always want to be back and forth but that's just what it was given for me honestly like i just wanted to do what i wanted to do but i didn't want to be a thought most times people um they feel like when you run away you want to go be a thought no some people just feel like smothered and our minds be like more progressed than our parents think you know parents just see you as your age as a kid they don't feel like you know smarter than what your age is which is not true because my mental is a beast trust me i'm i'm it's given i'm a little fat y'all we gonna talk about that watch your mouth please don't play with me but yeah, um, parents, they just always feel like you, your, your mental is your age, but that's not true. Like y'all ever seen that show? Are you smarter than the fifth grader? A lot of us, a lot of y'all is not smarter than the fifth grader. Don't play with me. 
So you can't be treating us like it ain't like we like our mental don't matter. You know, that's how parents do. And that's crazy because it matters, you know. So, I mean, it was just crazy for me growing up young, you know, because I was just a little too ahead of my time. And it caused me a lot of, you know, mischief. Is that a word, y'all? Mischief. <laughs> you know, I was very just bad. Well, really not bad. I'm going to say, y'all, I'm not bad. I had a very smart mouth. Like, I always had something to say. Like, I always had a comeback. Like, you can't just come for me. Like, I feel like if it's not right, I have a right to speak on it. Just because I'm young don't mean I don't have an opinion. And that's what parents feel like. Because you're their kid and you're young, you have no opinion, and whatever they do is right. And that's not true because kids can also still teach parents things too. So, how does it feel you being young now? <clears throat> um, I'm the very best child. I'm a very good kid. I'm innocent. I'm myself. I am I'm myself. I um, go to school every day. I do try to put up a fit because I swear I hate that place where everything I have, I hate it. I hate it. Try not to bounce. Sorry. Mm. Um, my parents, geez, they drive me absolutely insane. Sick. But you know, if I say something, I'm already, I'm just being, I'm back talking. I'm being smart. You're right. But I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> uh, um, people say that I'm sweet. People say I'm adorable. Well, my other friend, friends, my friends say on the other side, and so does this woman right here. She says that I am not a good child, that I'm not innocent. That's a lie. I am not. But I'm still a good child. School, I mean, my life right now is just, it's just boring. I don't do anything. I sit in the house all day on my phone and be miserable and be miserable it's like i'm locked in in the in the it's like i'm trapped in the world no you guys just... listen she used to always like when we all used to be in the house my mama has five kids she's the youngest she always will be like oh i can't wait till y'all leave it could just be me mom and dad da, da, da. she's talk big crap about us and then guess what now we're gone she's miserable but also, that's not just it. You know, I've always been outside. I've always been a person. But now it's just boring. Like, I feel like, by the way, my mom and dad talk to me. I feel like they think I'm depressed. And I'm honestly, I'm not. Because I'm just, I feel like my phone is just, like, I'm just, not even my phone. I feel like I'm just... It's like time doesn't, no, let's put that in a different way. It's like time stays still. I don't, I don't, it's like, it's a repeating day of every day. It's like I do the same thing every day. It's nothing to do it. I wake up seven o'clock in the morning, go to school, do a full day of school, come home, get in my bed and just repeat. Do you like school? No, I don't. Yeah, I really I don't. I hate it. Go to school, stay in school. I personally hate it. Kids stay in school. I personally hate it. And let me tell y'all my reasons. I'm so dramatic. It was cold in there. Like, I hated school because it was so cold. Like, the the air just blow for no freaking reason. I was never cold. I'm always hot. Always. This girl have heat flashes for doom. I swear, my heat flashes are so bad. I don't even... But... We're just alike in our own ways. What's your zodiac? I'm a Libra. Air signs. Together. The <laughs> meal. <laughs> yes. This is my rider. This is my best friend. People say she's crazy, but I'm the crazy one. <laughs> That's why we're made for each other. You were made for me. Shout out to Major Nine. <laughs> what they do, Daddy? <laughs> There's a little demon. Do y'all hear the demon outside? Okay, y'all. So basically, growing up young with 
the young and growing up young with the old and that's how i felt and that's how she feels she doesn't like it are you ready to get older or something yes. like you wish you just can get older like, i don't like being in the middle of being older and being a kid i don't like the middle of it it's, oh okay i understand uh, the middle of it is kind of confusing because you don't it is because you want to do stuff and then it's like the stuff you didn't care about when you was younger now you're in the middle you starting to care about it and it's like it's like but i'm young so i can't do it but i want to do it exactly. so yeah being young is but hey listen as an adult now stay young for as long as you can because the bills the life is stressful you know love heartbreak it's all stressful just enjoy life Focus on yourself. Have fun. Like, literally, take the words, focus on yourself, so serious. Like, as long as you focusing on yourself, you can't go wrong. Like, so, yeah. So, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on your post notifications for a post notification shout out in my next video. And, yeah. I love y'all, my KY family. So make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video.